Welcome back to the channel, my freedom loving two way supporting patriots. Back with a new review for you today on the Vast Fire Predator Flashlight. All right, so we're back with the Vast Fire Predator Flashlight. Um, as you guys know, I did not care for the zoomable version so much. Um, they did go ahead and send this one free of charge to the channel to review as well. And it is pretty similar to that other one with some slight changes. And it is not a zoomable flashlight, and I like it quite a bit more. So we'll go ahead and get into it here. So you get your flashlight here. I have the uh, white LED installed in it already. Um, it comes in at uh, 7 inches long and 8.7 ounces with the battery in it. Um, this lens on this one is a lot, it's a lot thinner lens. The last lens was super thick. And I think that helped block a lot of the lumens that were coming out of it. So that was one of the things I didn't care for about it. And uh, like I said, this one's a fixed one, so it's not zoomable. And uh, it, I just like it a lot better. It feels a lot more solid to me. So, uh, as with all the Vast Fire flashlights here that I've reviewed, you get kind of the same mounting options. Uh, you get this one for mounting it on top of a scope if you like to do so. Uh, if it's 1 inch and 30 millimeter uh, scopes. Get this mounting option here where you can mount it onto a barrel by running your barrel through there. And then you can see you got quite a bit more thread on there so you can fit it on whatever barrel you need. Or if you want to go ahead and remove that... You got a Picatinny rail attachment, and uh, this would be the option I would I would be going with. Uh, what else comes with the flashlight? You get two 18650 batteries, which is awesome. As you guys know, uh, batteries aren't the cheapest thing ever, and uh, 18650 batteries are pretty good. Uh, you get your charger here. Uh, it'll be a solid red when it's charging, and then turn to green when it's fully charged. Uh, it'll depend on what you hook it into on how long it charges. Uh, mine have taken between uh, from being totally drained uh, three hours to about four and a half hours depending on where I had them plugged in. Uh, you get your USB cord for charging and then you get your little velcro hook and loop pad here for mounting the uh, tail switch onto your gun. And We'll go ahead and just move the rest out of that way. A little Allen wrench here for the uh, mounts, tightening those uh, screws. And then this is going to be another interchangeable LED flashlight. So it's going to be uh, white, red, and green. Kind of hard to pick those up, shine from the camera. Uh, they are kind of hard to distinguish in between which one's which. Uh, you can see the little red dot there uh, indicating red for that one, but otherwise they're unlabeled. So I went ahead and I just wrote on the sides. Uh, with Sharpie with them, uh, green, red, and the other one's marked white. So I can uh, easily distinguish in between which ones are which. Um, and it's going to be a thousand. It's advertised as a thousand lumen flashlight, which is good out to 350 yards. Um, with your uh, red, it's advertised uh, 200 yards and 400 lumens. With your green, it's advertised as 220 lumens out to 350 yards. So the numbers kind of mishmash again a little bit to to my findings. Um, when we'll show you the uh, footage here in a few minutes out in the backyard, but I could see the green quite a bit brighter and further than I could the red. My other issue I've had in the past is the uh, pressure pads. So right now we got the the tail cap in works just fine. Uh, the pressure pad is still kind of one of the weaker uh, things to the uh, whole flashlight system, in my opinion. Um, I've gone through a couple of them. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll roll that footage in real quick. Well, let's try turning it on, giving it a good yank. So we got the pressure pad installed here. It has your momentary on, Oop. momentary on and off there. And you creep up a little ways and you got a button for your constant on, constant off, as you can see. 
So we're gonna kinda give it the ring around here, like kinda work it around. I wasn't pulling on it, just working it back and forth, see if it still works okay. Momentary. So that's working good so far. And we'll give her a little tug here. Same issue as before. So I wasn't pulling that hard on it and it just yanked out. So um, one good thing about Fastfire is they do a full year <laughs> warranty on their flashlights, their pressure pads. Like I said, I'm not a fan of them, uh, but they do a lifetime warranty on these pressure pads. So if you go through them, they will go ahead and send you out a new one. As far as uh, switching out your LEDs on this light, we're going to just unscrew here. And it does give you a lot of threading on there. Keep it nice and secure. Pop that off and then you got your LED right there. You can see, like I said, I got them labeled white. You simply just unscrew that. Go ahead, pop a new one in, screw it back down. And those have a good amount of uh, threading on them as well to keep them nice and secure. Uh, everything on here has O-rings around it, as you can see there. Uh, now, as far as waterproof rating on this, it's going to be rated uh, IPX4, which is just water resistant. So that's kind of a quick overview of it there. I will go ahead out to the backyard and see how it looks back there. And then uh, maybe we'll go ahead and knock out some torture testing with it as well. All right, so here's that. Here's the flashlight at 31 yards. You can see? Get a nice little hot spot in the middle. There are fences, 31 yards. Oh, that house is probably 40. And then figure those trees are right around 100. Make out the branches in it real good. Comes out nice and clear. Kind of a little up closer here. Let's go ahead and try a colored LED. All right, here we are with the green. And I'm able to make out everything on the back fence perfectly clear. I know it doesn't show up as good on the phone, on the camera. Back tree, you can see it up there. Um, like I said, around 100 yards. And I can clearly make out all the branches on there. So that's pretty impressive out of the the green LED. Let's go ahead and switch it over to the red. Alright, here you go with the red LED. Kind of look around with it there. Puts out a good amount of light on the house back there. Go up to the tree. Um, I can see the tree pretty good. I think the green's probably a little bit brighter at least to my eyes as far as making out branches back there well, that red is pretty good as well all right so we're outside flashlights on we'll do a couple drop tests with it here and uh, see how it performs holds up still good shoulder height Still working. Let's drop it uh, bezel down. That wasn't a good enough hit. Still working. Still working just fine. So I don't know if you guys are like me and you have an appetite for uh, just really, really testing stuff out further than it needs to be tested out, well, then you're in store. Got the 4Runner. It's running. Flashlight. Let's try it out. Well, it 
it kind of slid it around pretty good on there as you can see from the scuffs but she's still going let's let's run her over a couple more times and turn it back on I'm gonna do it try doing it lengthwise this time why not Well, as you can see, it's still on, still working. That's pretty tough, pretty impressive out of the uh, durability of the vast fire. Okay, so we're back inside. Uh, as you guys saw, survived all the drop tests, being ran over four times. She's a little chewed up from it, but uh, still works perfectly. Um, I've actually tossed and ran these over before and done quite a bit more to them. And uh, they've always held up just fine for me as far as durability of the actual flashlight itself. So that's really impressive out of Ass Fire. Um, they, they make a tough flashlight. Pressure pads, of course, you know, struck out on those. So if I were to run this on a uh, home defense rifle or a uh, hunting rifle, I would definitely go with the tail cap as it is much more reliable. And I've never had a single issue with that. Uh, the... As far as the lumens go, uh, it is brighter than that zoomable uh, Predator flashlight. Now, is this reaching the distances it claims on the uh, on their description page? I don't think so. But it is definitely reaching out further than that last one did. I think you'd be fine with uh, red, white, or green uh, LEDs out to 100 yards with it. Um, anything past that would be probably pushing it for the red one. Uh, green one, you'd probably be okay for another, I'm guessing, maybe 25 yards or so. But uh, the white LED, I'm guessing you could probably hit 150, 200 yards with it. I just don't have the distance to film that with here. So overall, um, I'm a lot more impressed with this one than the uh, zoomable light. Um, like I said, link for this down in the description box. Go for 60 bucks on Amazon. Um, you can find these other places I know as well, like say eBay, for example, if you're not wanting to use Amazon right now. So I'd like to thank Vastfire for uh, sending me another uh, flashlight to test out and review. Uh, hopefully I can continue working with them here in the future. And uh, I appreciate you watching as always, you guys. I hope you find these videos interesting and uh, informational. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching and God bless. Let's go.